What I'm going to teach you over the next 30 minutes or so is how to sell 1,000 seats to your own conference. Who's okay with that? To become the number one person of interest in your industry. To break even on the front end of actually throwing an event, by the way, as most people don't know how to do. But I've done four times in a row, and I know how to scale conferences as well as anybody. And Coach is right. The conference is going to 10,000 in 36 months. And I know the formula. I study this thing like the back of my hand. And... The $32,500 you're going to pay coach and I, who cares because I'm going to show you how to generate over half a million dollars in cash. Who would be okay with that, by the way? All, a lot of you raised your hand that you're okay with it, by the way, but most of you won't end up on the stage at the, at the end of this talk as one of the 10. So I'm going to show you eight reasons why you need to build your own 8%. Number one, you get to speak. I grew up watching my grandfather as a Baptist pastor, and at 10 years old, I made a decision I want to be speaking one day. Who else has thought over the last couple days, I want to speak one day? I'm tired of sitting in the audience. I want to be on stage at Monster Nation in 12 months. Who wants to be on Monster Nation stage next year, by the way? Okay, I can tell you one of the best ways for you to get on stage, by the way, most people, they go to coach like, dude, I am an amazing speaker. You have to throw me on your stage. That doesn't help him unless you're truly world class, by the way. Only thing that helps him is if you can help give butts and seats. Right, And you are a person of interest. So what, I, what, what I've done, and the only reason why I'm up here, and I probably shouldn't be, is because I threw a conference, got it to 1,000, and had him speak every single year. Is that, am I bringing value to him or am I bringing value to him? Right? I really believe, by the way, between Doug and Tia Wood and Cody and Lauren Askins, that we have brought more business to Coach Michael Burt than anyone else on the planet, and we love doing it because we love him. Help him! Help him, and he will help you. But you have to build something special. You follow my formula, and you end up with 500 people at your first conference, a 250, 150, whatever, and Coach Michael Bird is on stage speaking at your event. Guess what? You continue to deliver. He will have no choice but to eventually reciprocate. Number two, you get to build your brand. One of the most powerful things in the world about doing a conference is building a personal brand. Building an, an, an event and a following in a conference is the number one way to build a personal brand, period. Look at what Grant Cardone's done with 10X, by the way. Nobody knew who he was four or five years ago for the most part. But the dude put on an event, grew it to 35,000 people, and now is a, a, a ridiculous Tens of millions of followers around the world. Did the conference help the personal brand, yes or no? Yes. Did the conference help the personal brand, yes or no? Yes. Number three, increase your network. A conference will increase your network. They always say your network is your... Who's always heard that your whole life, by the way? But you don't feel like you've ever got the network you needed. The conference gave us the network. Because we get to spend time with some of the top people in the world. To spend time with some of the top people in our industry, by the way. You want to meet the top people in your industry? Throw an event, make it a party, deliver, and trust me, you will become a magnet for opportunity. Because I'm just an average dude that loves to speak and is trying to speak and is, is average speaker at best yet, but really wants to get great. We record all of my keynotes because I go back and watch them time and time again. I still have a ton of bad habits. You may pick up on them today, we'll see. <laughs> but the point is, I still get nerves. I literally, I get a stomach ache, no joke, every morning before I come out and speak. Every morning that I come out and speak, I get a stomach ache. But if that's what it takes, I wanna have a stomach ache every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Why? Because I want to do something big. I want to leave a legacy. And stages are the best way to do that, by the way. Number four, you get asked to speak on other stages. So I'll be speaking on four stages this month. And I didn't even have to follow up and ask. They asked me. Why? Because when they see you speak and you're throwing a conference, you're doing something big, they immediately think, oh, this person's a speaker. Really not. I'm trying to become one. And the more you do it, it's like riding a bike, right? The first time you got on a bike, 
Did you, who, who fell, by the way, okay? I, we all probably did, unless you got your parent like walking you along, right? Or you got some training wheels or something. My dad probably didn't even believe in training wheels, knowing my father, okay? I can tell you though, the 100th time you read, the 50th time, the 25th time you jump on the bike, you're more comfortable than the first, yes or no? Which means right now you may not be comfortable getting on here, jumping around, flailing your hands, screaming and yelling, everything else, and I get a little crazy and loud, okay? That's just my energy, that's just my passion, that's what I love doing. But I can tell you it's because I'm evolving. I want to get better. I want to change. And I want to get asked to speak on some of the biggest stages in the world. I want to get so good and so big that Cardone, Bert, Robbins, anybody are like, dude, this cat needs to be speaking on our stage. Who wants to get invited to speak on other stages, by the way? Who wants to get invited to speak on other stages, by the way? Build your own. Build your own and you will get invited to speak on others. Number five, it helps you get known. Who had seen me at some point doing something with Coach Michael Burt before today, by the way, right? We've done so much stuff together <laughs> over the last few years. The point is, like Coach always says, you need more people, you don't need more money. This is the way to get the people, by the way. Like we're growing a gigantic email list and a decent following in the insurance space. Why? Because everyone wants to be a part of the event. Everyone wants to be a part of the party. Everyone wants to be a part of the conference. But what most people don't know is my very first sponsor, my, back in probably July or, or, or August of, of uh, 2018, I went to a relationship of mine. I said, hey, I would like for you to sponsor the event. It's 10 grand. They mailed me a check for $10,000. Once I got it, they said, call me. I got it, I called them. They said, we all have these pivotal moments in our life, by the way. They said, what if it doesn't happen? Will we get our money back? Who would that motivate, by the way, in here? You're like, I mean, I, internally I'm thinking, they're, they're, I mean, dude, what are you talking about? There's no way. I'm spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to pull this off. I will pull it off. But a lot of times it's, it's, it's the self-confidence and belief in ourself that really holds us back, by the way. The only, th the only individual on the planet that can hold you back from doing anything you ever want to do is you. That's it. I always say if it's meant to be, it's up to me. Now, I need great people around me to, 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 to grow and scale this thing. But I know that if I want to go there, I'm going to go there. Coach always says you've got to go there in the mind before you go there in the body. But I'm going there in the mind every single day. I write down my goals every single morning. I write down that we have 10,000 people at our event. I write down that I'm the number one influencer in the insurance industry. I write down that we help every insurance agent in the world. I write down that I'm the number one keynote speaker on the planet. And I write it all every single day. That's a nugget, that's a tip, that's a note, that's a takeaway, that's something you need to be doing every single day, by the way. Whatever you want, you have to write it down. What does that do by writing it down, by the way? Help me out, what does that do when you start writing it down every day? Countable, start, start to manifest it, start to believe it. Vision, subconscious mind. It starts to make you so creative that you start coming up with crazy ideas to pull it off. But you never thought you could, but because you started writing it down, now you actually start to believe it. It's like brainwashing. For any, you need to brainwash yourself every day if that's the case, right? For you to do anything big in the world, you have to believe it first. And you gotta stop caring what everybody else thinks. One of the biggest reasons why people don't do conferences and events and stuff, well, what if nobody shows up? Dude, I spent half a million dollars the first year not knowing if anybody <laughs> would show up. I don't know if that's stupid or smart or what, but that's what happened, okay? <laughs> Number six, you get to collaborate with the biggest speakers in the world. We've had everyone from Burt to Cardone. We're having Ed Milet next year. We just got done with Eric Thomas and Patrick Bet David. We've had Jordan Belfort. We've had Michael Irvin. We've had Ray Lewis. We've had, I'm actually in negotiations with Shaq right now because he'll actually come to the party and do a DJ Diesel thing too. I'm like, all right, that's a party. I'm in. Who's okay with hanging out privately with some of the top people in the world, by the way? You throw your own conference, you pay them to be there, and guess what? You get private time with them. 
It's like paying for coaching and access without actually paying for coaching or access. When I'm getting to sit with Patrick Bet David and ask him, dude, how did you grow a YouTube? My YouTube channel has 50,000 subscribers. Yeehaw. Yours has 3 million. How did you do it? What should I do? Critique mine. Help me out. And he's responding and answering me. How valuable is that, by the way? How valuable is that? Right? Like Brad started Capital Con. Right? He's going to have a second event again in April. We all need to be building our own events. Whether you think you need to or not, I promise you, if you want to do anything big, it's the number one way to get there. Number seven, there's massive revenue opportunities as well. Believe it or not, there's massive revenue opportunities. You may not understand what that means. Trust me, I've been working on the, on the formula for four years, and we have finally figured it out, by the way. Now, will we continue to get better? Yes. Will we eventually collect $10 million at an event, 100%, by the way. Now, we're only a 20th of the way there, but we will get there, and you can too. Most people think that events and conferences just always lose money. Who's kind of thought that, by the way? You've been, you've been told that, you've thought that, you weren't sure. Most people think that, by the way. But I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be that way. Who would, I mean, who would find, and actually what's true too, I can actually show you how to go collect 100 grand before you even spend 100. Right? Crazy. So are you actually out any money? So what's the reason why we wouldn't do it? Help me out. Honestly, like why wouldn't we do this if I can show you how to collect money before you go spend it and break even on the front end and collect half a million dollars in cash on the back end? Help me out. I'm with you. I don't think there is any reason. Number eight, you get to make an impact. My wife and I want to leave an impact on our industry. We want to leave an impact on the world. We want to leave a legacy. She's in the middle of starting a foundation because we want to leave an impact. We want to help people. We want to leave the earth better than we found it. Who else would kind of like to do the same, by the way? Events. There's a gentleman that literally came to our event a couple years ago. He paid to come. He had $36 left in his bank account when he got there. 12 months later, he had over 50 grand in his bank account. What does that mean? That means that 8% Nation helped him. That means that 8% Nation is helping people get to a better place in their life. That means Coach is doing Monster Nation because he wants you to get to a better place in your life. And you can also help others get to a better place in life. It's almost selfish if you don't make an impact. It's almost selfish if you don't leave a legacy. It's kind of not almost selfish, it just is. If you're not helping others get to a better place in life, then it's all about you. If you're not surrounding yourself with a team and doing something big, then you're not lifting other people up. If you're not building an event and bringing and connecting your entire industry, because the insurance industry is old fashioned. The average age of an insurance agent is 59. In insurance, if you're with me and I recruit you, or we don't talk to each other, or we hate your guts. That's how it was, by the way. Or they don't bring their teams because they think they'll get recruited. It's actually turned out that if someone doesn't bring their team to the event, nobody knows them, and their people are probably going to get recruited by someone. But once they get to know each other, they stop recruiting each other. It's wild. It's the most fascinating thing I've ever seen. Well, why is it happening? Because we're making an impact and connecting. Like, if I was you, I would be focused on doing three things every single day. I don't know what your three things are, by the way, but here's mine. I believe every business owner needs to be focused on doing three things every single day. I promote everything we got going on. I network and connect to top people around the world. And I think about and learn and bring ideas to the team. Those are the three things I do. Everything else, we've got a team member or staff or someone on our team managing and doing. Who else wants to build your own stage and speak on the biggest stages in the world? Stand up right now if you actually really, really, really want to speak, if you really want to get on the biggest stages in the world, if you really want to make an impact, if you really want to leave a legacy, if you want to get to where everyone knows you because you're on stage helping others. Okay, good, that's, coach, that's a good amount. Coach, that's a good amount of people. Coach, that's a good response. Here's what I want to share you. Stay standing for me, by the way, okay?
Because I was in your shoes, no joke, three years ago, and I'm watching Coach, and I'm like, dude, he's good, but I can do that too. He's one of the best storytellers in the world, by the way. I'm not, but I'm focused on improving my storytelling, so here's a story. That's a picture of my grandfather with my wife and I. He passed away a couple years ago. My grandfather is the reason I wanted to grow up and speak. I watched him preach his whole life. I didn't watch him preach his whole life because I'm too young for that. But I watched him preach for years, decades. And at 10 years old, I said, I don't want to be sitting down there. I want to be up here. And some of my family thought I may go into ministry. Well, you can still help a lot of people around the world without actually going into ministry, right? And I can tell you, that wakes me up every single day when I think about him and how I'm honoring him and how I'm helping his memory. And I went to him because I was already speaking and I had the event before he passed away. And I said, hey, Pops, I'm, uh, I'm finally starting to speak. He's like, I've been telling you for 16 years you should be speaking. And getting the chance to speak at his funeral was one of the most memorable moments of my life. And I want to keep speaking the rest of my life. And I bet all of you do too. Coach and I are rolling out a Build Your Conference boot camp. So for those, you have a seat, thank you, okay? For those that want to build out your event. I said earlier, it was only for 10 people. I said you would pay us $32,500 for Coach and I to speak at your first conference. Would it be okay, by show of hands, if Coach and I both spoke at your first conference, by the way? Okay, good, good, good. You think Coach draws a crowd, right? You think he would help sell some tickets? You think he would deliver some value to your event? 100, 1,000%. And I will also, Commit to helping getting butts in seats, by the way. Selling tickets is not near as hard as it used to be. So, it's going to be a two-day boot camp, November 17th and 18th at the Lodge. Day one, we're going to talk about the behind the scenes of the Apricent Nation and the Monster Nation Conference. And we're going to share everything that we've learned behind the scenes that you need to know. And then day two is going to be helping you build out your own event from scratch. Is this good or is this good? Again, it's only limited to 10 people. Here's what's all included. Build your conference two-day boot camp. Personally help you build out your own. I'm gonna give you my personal cell phone number for any questions along the way because I wanna help you win at a very high level. And I know I can, which means I should, right? I'm also willing to make speaker introductions for you. I will personally introduce you to any speaker we've ever had and help you negotiate the best possible deal. Is that good or is that good? I will also find you a stage to speak on. Who wants to be up here? I'm gonna make sure that you end up on stage. Coach Burt and I will both help promote your event. And Coach Burt and I will both speak at your event, which is normally $32,500. 25K for Coach, 7,500 bucks for me. So the question is, who, again, limited 10 people, who wants to be speaking on stage one day? Right? Like, who really wants to speak on stage? Now, you can't see this. It's limited 10 people, and it's not $32,500. It's only 10K. So if you would like to join Coach Bird and I and speak, and build your own conference and spend time together and us physically help you build it out, then come on stage now. Then come up here and join me on stage now and hang out with me. Okay, thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, give these guys a hand. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, man. thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, get up here. Let's go, let's go. That's easy money. <laughs> it's stupid. Yeah, join in there, coach. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Give them a hand. Give them a hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Give them a hand, folks. Come on. Woo! I didn't even share everything that we're going to teach you, by the way. I think we had a couple more spots left. What we got? Uh, six? Okay, so we only got four spots left. 
I'm going to teach you my top three ticket strategies, how anyone can sell 500 tickets to their first event. This 10 grand will feel like literally a dollar when I'm done. Top four revenue strategies. How do you extract revenue during the event? I'm going to give you my top four strategies for that. Top five strategies for hyper growth. How do you start an event and then really scale it and grow it? Top five strategies for that. Who's still sitting there and shouldn't be sitting there, by the way? Be honest with yourself. Like you're sitting there, you're up, you're, you're thinking about it, you're close, and you're like, dude, I need, to get the I need to get my butt out of my seat and I need to get up here. Okay, if that's you, let's go. How to get 325, thank you, buddy, appreciate that, okay? How to get $325,000 in sponsorship money. How to book big time speakers like Coach Michael Burt, Grant Cardone, Tim Grover, Jordan Belfort, Ray Lewis, Patrick Bet David, Eric Thomas, Inky Johnson, Darren Woodson, Michael Irvin, Tim Story, Ed Milet, and Jesse Itzler. Oh, oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. You have to help me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? I'm, oh, one in the back. We're full, coach. How about that? Okay. Nice job, man. Nice job. Also, my exact PL for the last four years and access to all of our 8% documents, as well as my exact recording of how I collected half a million dollars during our event this year. Give these 10 a hand. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. 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 Thank you than my good buddy, Coach Michael Burt. Thank you guys. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the content. I've got a six page ebook. If you would like a free copy of the ebook, go to CodyAskins.com forward slash ebook. Okay, write that down, go on your phone. You can even grab it now and follow along. Again, CodyAskins.com, my first name, last name.com forward slash.